Hi, I'm Rudy from Rudy Cycling Fitness in Chicago, and today I'm going to show you how to use the control console on a Schwinn 170 upright or 270 recumbent bike. But before we begin that, it's very important to make sure you have the seat adjusted properly. And to do that, you want to position the ball of your foot over the axle of the pedal. Now you want to adjust the strap so that it properly holds your foot into that position. Next, push the pedal away so it's at the furthest distance from the seat, and then adjust the seat so that you have a slight bend in your knee. And when all that's done, you're all set and ready to try exercising. Looking at our console, we can see we have two different displays. The upper display will show you the intensity, which is the level of work you are doing. The top line is the program display, showing information like what program you are in. The grid display shows a course profile, and each column represents one segment of that profile. The higher the column, the higher the resistance level. The flashing column shows the segment you are currently in. The heart rate zone shows you what zone you are in based on your current heart rate. The goal display shows your selected type of goal, which can be time, distance, or calories. It shows the time, which is the time remaining to achieve the goal. And the little boxes indicates the percentage of the goal completed. The user display shows which user is currently being used. And this is the achievement box, which will light up and sound when your goal is reached. Your lower display will show you your speed, RPM, or heart rate. If you push the right button, it'll change to speed, level, and calories. And if we push the right button again, we'll get time, distance, and calories. At the lower part of the console, you have a fan button to control a three-speed fan. You can move the louvers to direct the air to where you want it to blow. On the side of the louvers are two speakers, which can be plugged in with any device that you have that will work with the supplied auxiliary cable. The simplest way to start an exercise is to use the quick start button. The upper display will show 15 columns, each one representing two minutes. The one that is flashing is the segment you are currently doing. You can adjust the resistance with either the up or down buttons or the quick set buttons. As you change the resistance, you'll be able to see the columns increasing or decreasing based on the resistance level you choose. If for some reason you need to stop, you can stop pedaling, push the pause button, go do what you have to do, and when you get back, start pedaling again, and you resume where you left off. If you are finished with the exercise, stop pedaling and push the pause button twice. The console goes into a cool down mode adjusting down to one-third of the average level you are working at. The display will show three minutes and count down. This allows you time to resume pedaling and slowly get your heart rate back down to normal. To see results based on your personal profile, set up the user. Push the user button. Each time will change users up to four different people. Choose the user you want and push OK. With the up and down arrows, you can choose between Edit and Reset. Choose Edit and hit OK. Name will show up. Again, with the up and down buttons, you can turn the first letter of your name and use the right arrow to move to the next. Again up and down to choose the letter you want, and right arrow to move to the next. Continue that until you are done and hit OK. 
You can then do the same for age, weight, height, and gender. When you get to the scan, you can choose whether you want the lower display to change automatically every six seconds, or you want to be able to control it with the left and the right buttons. After you've made your choice, hit OK. Next will be wireless heart rate. If you are getting interference from some other electronic device, you can turn off the telemetric heart rate receiver. Finally, you will see Edit Lower Profile. Here you can control each workout value in the lower display using the up and down arrows to turn it on or off and the left and the right to move to the next value. The one which is flashing is the one that you are currently on. Now your personal profile is all set up. With the program button, you can choose different program profiles. Each will have different resistance and workout levels. Begin by pushing the user button to select the correct user. Push the program button and with the left and right arrows, you can choose the category you want. We have custom programs, heart rate control, feedback, quick goals, fun rides, mountains, and challenges. Choose the category you want, and then with the up and down buttons, you can choose the exact one. We're gonna pick pyramids, and then we'll hit OK. Next, we're able to set the value we want. Whether it's time, hit the up button, distance, up button, or calories. Once you've chosen which value you want, hit OK. Now you can set that value again using the up and down buttons. When you are done, hit OK. And we're able to start our program. When our program is finished, a bell will sound and the council will go into the cool down mode. When the cool down mode is done, another bell will sound and your lower display will show you your workout results. Finally, we're going to show you how to use the goal tracker. Begin by pushing the user button to select the user you want. Then push the goal tracking button. The console will display last workout and show you your results. Use the left and right button to view the different values. Use the up button again to change to last seven days. Up again and you'll see the workout for the last 30 days. Up again to view the longest workout. Up again to see your calorie record and your body mass index. That shows the relationship between your weight and your height. When you are all done, push the goal track button again and the console returns to the power up mode screen. To get even more information, go to schwinnfitness.com and download the full owner's manual.